Hey, okay. Hey, hey, everyone. How you doing? I hope everyone is having a great weekend. Today, I am going to tackle... Uh, I'm going to show you exterminations level... Uh, level... Exterminations. L extermination levels 4 and 5. And it's kind of complicated. I've got two different hangar setups. Because I did level 4 with one setup and it was super well i wouldn't say super easy but it was easy and then the same setup i couldn't get it to work completely in level five so i had to change it up so what we've got here okay so just so you guys know all right so module setups are the same i didn't change them but in the level four games i had the ultimate uh, organs and the puncher on here uh i guess the same as what you might have saw in uh the level three video i did okay and then in hangar two um the big change that i did was in the level four game I had one uh, damage controller, but I took that out for this level five games and put in two re Titan repair and outfires. Now, I don't know if this setup may have worked fine. I, I imagine the setup would have worked fine in level four, but anyways, long story short, I changed things up in between levels because I was struggling. Um, and I needed to do, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't clear it with the Fenrir in level five, the second stage of level five, I used this guy and I just, I got really close with the ultimate organs, but I couldn't do it. So I changed it up. And I think as we go through the video, I will explain why I made the changes I made. And to be honest, guys, Man, these were very difficult. I don't know if it's just because these they're they're they've changed up the stages and um or what, and because of motherships, I'm not really sure what it was, but I found level five uh to be extremely difficult. So uh I am not super confident at the at this point that I can make recommendations for everyone uh to tackle these levels. Um I'm not the best player in the world. And I don't know all the secrets of everything, but anyways, at the moment, this is the best I can do. Uh, maybe as things go along, I'll be able to figure, get some more insight on some more uh, easier to get setups. Cause I know not everybody has an ultimate Fenrir and not everybody has ultimate Avenger and ultimate Orkins and all that good stuff. So um, anyways, bear with me. I'm gonna show you this guys now. And then maybe as time goes on, I'll be able to figure out something better for everyone. Okay? Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so here we go. We need to destroy 160 robots and get 4 million with our Titan. Now, I did not do a super job. Uh, usually I can clear these out with one robot and one Titan or something like that. Uh, this was a little bit more of a struggle. Let's start with our handy dandy Seraf with our Huang Ji. A level one nuclear amp and overdrive and last stand. Zap these guys. And we need to get that Titan out pretty much as soon as possible in order to get the four million in damage. Now, what I find, guys, uh, what I'm going to tell you is these. Uh, 
mobile Zenit launchers. These are a pain. We need to get rid of them, or at least that is my thinking. Uh, the uh, ones that come out early in the game aren't so strong, but as the game progresses, they seem to hit harder and harder. And I'm not sure if that's just me or what. But um, yeah, so I focus on them because they seem to do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage to your Titan too. So uh, I'm not doing super good here right now because I don't know, this is the first time I played the level, to be honest. So I just, you know, just doing what I can do, because I don't know what, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, and they're killing me, they're killing me good. I am using uh, Unstable Conduit, so I'm kind of staying alive, but I can't, I can't totally stay alive. So I do drop in the Ocho with the Shifang and the Ultimate Punisher T's. And this is what I meant by usually I can do a level with one robot and then the Titan. And I couldn't do it. Um, I think I could do it now maybe, but maybe if I just used the, the Ocho from the beginning, I probably could have done it. But um, I, did, I did manage to clear this, I think, on the first try. So... I decided to go ahead and show you that video instead of showing you, you know, me being super dude and doing it all with one with one robot. So, like I said, I'm not the best player in the world. I kind of know how things work, but, but I understand strategy, but I'm not necessarily the most skilled. And I play it on my phone, so uh, it's, it's still kind of tricky. But anyways, we'll take these guys out. I still think that these guys on the ends uh, those mobile Zenit units are uh, really them and the really tanky bots that come later. And that's why I put both of these weapon types on uh, the Ocho. Because they, as the game progresses, the enemies become tankier. Uh, and they hit, start to hit harder. See that guy right there? The guy in the middle? I forget what everybody's called. But... I don't know if it's a Marauder or what, but those Marauder Mark Threes or whatever they are, uh, are very difficult to, to kill. And I find that this weapon combination, while maybe the ultimate, the Punisher Ts don't necessarily charge up the mothership that great, uh, they do a good job of getting through the enemy's defenses. And this is what I meant by, I'm not quite sure how to coach you guys on the best setups right now. Because this was, it was hard for me with this setup. <laughs> um, but maybe, uh, you know, maybe next week and the week after, we'll see uh, if things start to settle down a little bit. I start to getting used to it, get the hang of uh, what I need to do and where I need to be. I might be able to offer some different setups. Okay, we are ready for our Luchador. guys right there let's cook this guy real quick let's see let's go this way let's drop down here let's cook that guy up there let's go this way a little bit cook this guy uh, and sometimes I find guys uh, I'll show you on the level 5 games you can kind of get close to these walls avoid some of the enemy fire and if you're using cinders like I am then they go through the walls so that's kind of handy so if they're on the other side of the wall you can still kill them uh, as long as you you know you're, you're loaded sometimes uh, I'll end up running uh, I'll be I'll be on reload constantly and, and it's it's a uh, more difficult but we're doing pretty good we're us. Uh, Getting, uh, getting a good number of kills. We got to get 160 kills at a minimum and the 4 million to get platinum. So we're at 157. We almost have our kills. Almost, almost. Okay, we've got our kills. Now we need to, to just get the damage. That 
guy up on the top left there, man. I don't know if he's using like the rust rockets. Those things hit pretty hard too, I find. And then they're like buff. They're not the nerfed versions that we have in the game. <laughs> they're, they shoot faster and uh, seems like they're just, they hit harder. All right, so we've got our damage number. Now we just got to get through uh, the rest of the level. And I've got more robots, so if this happens to die, it's fine. But we've got plenty of health left, so it's not a problem. Not like the second game, a level five game. That's much more difficult. Let's see what to do. Um, let's jump over here and let's cook this guy. Cook this guy and we'll be done because we've got like eight seconds left. Is it five seconds? Pretty much done. Okay, so we cleared that. Platinum victory. Waiting for our results. There we go. 181 kills. 9.7 million. On to... Uh, stage two and we got to deal as much damage as possible so and use three orbital supports so 9.5 million and three orbital supports so this might be somewhere where you guys struggle in, in activating your mothership uh, I'm using what I consider to be a relatively good setup for Activating the mothership. I know the punchers are good. They're probably maybe number one. I don't remember exactly. I think Iger did a, a, a video just like last week. So uh, check that out if you guys want to see. All right, pick that guy out. I believe the flames work really well as uh really well as well <laughs> kind of a redundant a lot of wells in that sentence so that might be a good option for you guys if you don't have of course you know ultimate organs this guys uh, I haven't done my mothership once yet we are only 43 percent not even halfway so pretty much we need a lot of enemies we need a big like bunch of them in order to really get uh it charged up to get that meter rolling these onesie twosies doesn't do a whole lot for me See, we're still at only like 50, 57%. Luckily, uh, this robot can take a lot of damage. Kind of shrugs most of it off. Because we're going to get into the thick of it here uh, and not be, really be able to do much. Uh, they lock us down several times. I get overrun a bunch of times. We're almost up to our first uh, mothership charge. Still got 7% to go, though. It's taking forever. Luckily, this is a relatively long uh, stage in comparison to some of the others. Ooh, one more percent. One more percent. Let's see if we can get this guy here and maybe get it. There we go. Use it right away because I don't want uh, to waste any of my shots or my, you know, potential to get damage to start charging it up again. So I want to use it right away. All right, let's put our gun uh, in the off position and run down here with a little extra speed. Because at this point in the game, I was a little bit worried about time. Uh, I saw how long it took me to get one charge. So I was like, ah, I gotta, I gotta move. Get that guy up there, guy behind me. 
these guys. Uh, luckily, the uh, enemies start coming out in larger numbers, and I say luckily, it's because uh, I need them to come out. I need something to shoot in order to charge that meter up. So even though it's like a bit overwhelming at times, I need I need the the huge like numbers of them to come out in order to get it charged. The guy's behind the wall over there. Uh, okay, let's go this way. <clears throat> Guy over there. Like I said in the level three video, uh, lockdown really helps. So it's a good idea to have some sort of lockdown somewhere. In this case, I've got it in the puncher. Can we get that guy? Can we get that guy? All right, we are up to just, so we're up to 62% on the mothership charge. Uh, Damage-wise, we're at 4.1. So I'm thinking maybe we're about halfway through. Uh, Time-wise, get that guy over there. The guy with the rust rockets. Ooh, but, uh, let's get this guy here. These guys are tanky. And like I said, this was the first time I played this stage, so I didn't really know where to go or what to do. Uh, on the other maps, you know, well, the other versions of this, like with Shenzhen and Canyon, like I know exactly where to go and where they're going to come out and what they're going to do. Uh, but this map, I didn't know since this was the first time. And I do try to, ooh, got my second mothership. There we go. I do try to every once in a while let the rockets, uh, the Orkins pile up a little bit. It's kind of hard to focus on that, though, sometimes when these guys are, like, right in your face. <laughs> um. All right, we're damage-wise, we're at 7 million. So we're doing good on the damage number. Uh, Health-wise, it seems like we're doing just fine, too. So I'm not super worried. We're at 50% basically for our third mothership charge. Get that guy in the back a little bit. These guys with the, I don't know, Tarans or whatever they are, the plasma weapons, those guys hit hard and they shoot fast. Let's get rid of this tanky guy. Uh, even though, did he, they, I, they do, that guy has like the blast shotguns, but I didn't know what that other one had. It didn't feel like he had anything. He was just harassing me. <laughs> Anyways, we're at 85%, almost 90 now for our third uh, mothership. We have lost a little bit of health, but I think we still got plenty. And uh, once we get, there we go. We got that third mothership. And we've got 10 million. So we've essentially accomplished uh, what we need to accomplish. We just have to finish the stage out. Um, ideally, I would just like to stay in this robot. I don't want to have to drop in other robots because they'll die. <laughs> and if they die and I lose, I think I lose, right? I think you, if you lose all your robots, you die. Or you lose the match, or the, the level. So you have, to, you have to survive with robots still in your hangar. I think. This guy. All right, we're doing good too. We got 11, 11.5 million, so we're doing really good on damage. Uh, they are starting to hurt me a bit. Can I get another mothership charge? And it gets uh, like it's, it's it gets to be challenging on aiming because there's so many uh, targets in the the. Targeting keeps changing from guy to guy to guy, so it's just really uh, quite difficult to figure out who I'm supposed to be shooting because I can't even see with all the explosions and all the stuff. So, uh, kind of crazy, but we're, we're up to 85%, almost 90. 
There we go, 90 for our fourth, which would be our fourth mothership charge. We are below 400,000 in the health, but now we're gonna get our mothership. It's gonna pump us up a little bit. We're almost back up to 500,000 again, so I think we're gonna be just fine. Blow these guys up. I find these mobile Zenit guys very annoying. And they're actually tankier than I think they should be. But we've got less than a minute to go. I think we are doing just fine. We're at 15 million. These guys do a lot of damage, too. Do you see that? Wow. I'm not using Unstable Conduit on here at this time. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Five seconds left. And there we go. There we go. Oh, that guy had to get a last shot in on me. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> All right, let's see how we did. Now, I don't do the little uh, extra screens because it's like whatever, but we accomplished it. Okay, good deal. All right, let's claim our goodies. and move on. Okay, so in this last and final stage, stage five, or level five, we've got to do as much damage as possible, five million with a Titan, and we've got to get 150 kills. And then in stage two, we've got to get, you know, this is to get platinum, right guys? 185 kills. All right. We're gonna drop in the Ocho. Ocho with the Shifang and um, the Ultimate Punisher Tease. And I'm using this combination uh, to deal with the more uh, difficult robot enemies that come out later, uh, later in the match. And I try really hard uh, to wait till they're a hundred meters uh you know within a hundred meter range and you know because playing on my phone it's difficult for me to switch up which weapons i'm using Let's go over here uh like i said earlier those mobile zenit units uh, become a focus for me i try to get rid of them as soon as possible. I don't know if that's a good strategy or a bad strategy, it got locked. Uh, but that's what I chose to do because I feel like they hit very hard. This guy's trying to run away, we're not gonna let him get away. Go over here, ooh, they're hide behind the thing there. Let's get this guy. I'm trying to just use my right Punisher T, but I got locked again. So now the Shifeng lock apply lockdown, right? So uh, that is where I'm getting my lockdown that I suggested you guys use. I'm also using the Armadillo on this guy uh, just to give me some more resistance. And it doesn't always work, by the way, guys. Um, I have been killed. <laughs> so this took me a few tries uh, to get this done. I'm pretty confident now I can do it every time, but it took me a few, try uh, few tries to figure out which combination of what to use and when uh, so that I could clear the levels. Uh, it's coming there. 
zap these guys. And it looks like our Titan meter is uh, a little bit over half. A little ways to go still. Ooh, there's another one of those mobile Zenit guys. Let's go get him. He's hiding behind the, uh, I don't know what this is, the rock formation. Zap him. Okay. And you see what I mean? They get tanky as the game goes along. The ones earlier died pretty easy. I also like trying to get in a position where I can kind of funnel and focus. It does get harder later in the game because there's people coming from the back, people coming from the front. Anyways, let's get this guy. I think another thing is to keep moving as much as possible. Uh, uh, like finding, not finding, but just going to a new spot. Let's see here, let's hit him with my left weapon, empty it out maybe. No, not quite. Let's just get up here and take care of him. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, what's this guy doing? Titan meter. We still got a ways to go on that Titan meter, don't we? It definitely takes a long time to charge up the uh, Titan meter. So here, guys, I'm 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 just kind of trying to give myself some space because I have died when I was totally swarmed and I didn't have my ability and my weapons weren't loaded, so. I feel like it's good to just kind of give yourself a little bit of space on occasion. Keep moving. Finally got a mothership. Zap these guys. All right. Where are we on our... We're still a little ways away on our uh, Titan bar. Guys, out! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on! There we go. There's another one of those Zenit units up there. Let's see if we can hit them. We we'll use our right weapons. We still have ammo in it. Let's go up here. Get away from the guys shooting acid on my back. Give us a little bit of space. Okay, Titan is ready. Let's do it. Now, my Titans died several times, so this level is not easy on Titans. I'm locked. But just like I focus on... Look, see how much damage they're doing to me, guys? I don't know if they have extra... Da oh, my gosh. I'm, like, practically dead. Um, I don't know if these guys do extra damage against Titans. But... These rocket guys, these Zenit guys, they are murder on me. All right, let's see. Let's jump. Luckily, the Luchador has a healing component of, like, the shield and everything. So that combined with the uh, amplifiers kind of keeps things going. But you can kind of use it. So like I was saying earlier, you can kind of use some of these obstacles. And... I can I can cook these guys through the wall. We got a mothership. Problem is is that if I stay in one spot too long, those Zenit rockets they just keep coming, and they start focusing on on me. So I try to keep moving a little bit, even though it it gets hard because the Luchador, even though it's very mobile with the jump, when it's not able to jump, it's pretty darn slow. Uh, I think a bedware would not be good for this stage. I don't know. I thought about trying it, but I'm not really sure. Um, I just feel like it's too slow. And even an Eiffel? Um, I don't know, man. Eiffels, it's, they're not that tanky. So you've got a lot of firepower, and, and you have good durability when you're in your ability, when you're flying, but on the ground? I don't know. I think like Luchador, maybe Rook. Uh, I'm not sure about like Minos. Minos might be good too because Minos has a good shield. Indra would probably be good. 
Indra might be maybe the best for this stage. I'm not really sure though. Uh, but you can see guys, I'm, I did hit my 5 million and I have my 150 and then I died. I have my 150 kills. So see, they're really strong. And now I just need to finish the level. Uh, I'm super annoyed. So we're going to go over and uh, kill this guy. All right, he's dead. And that's that's the level. Man, tough stuff. Now, I managed to clear that level the first time I tried it, but then I couldn't I couldn't do the second stage. <laughs> and then all the attempts after that, I failed until this one. <laughs> so, it's <laughs> kind of tricky. All right. So, on this particular Fenrir, I don't know if you saw at the beginning in the, in the intro, I have the Ultimate Avenger and the Lei Ming. So it's the exact same philosophy that I applied to the Ocho. I want to get close. I want to be able to do a, a wide area of damage. And I don't want to have to focus too much. The only problem is, is I got to get in close. And I like the Avenger because it's good at killing uh, the tankier enemies later in the stage. I found that the other weapons sometimes just don't... You no, know, punchers work pretty good. So puncher probably would have worked fine with this combination. And additional lockdown. Trying to figure out where to go. All right, took out that guy. Run up here. Zap these guys with my Lei Mings. Oh, here they come some more. We got to get 185 kills. Zap all these guys. Zap all these guys. Out of ammo, let's reload. Okay, we're ready to go. Need to wait for them to get close enough. All right. It's a, uh, oh, I think they're coming from behind me. Might as well just stay here. Snap these guys a little bit. These acid guys, annoying. They apply lockdown every time, almost, it seems like. Zap these guys. We got a mothership. Nice. All right. Zap these guys. Zap these guys. Uh, now they're starting to come in behind me. Uh, it's hard to get. I like, so what I like to do, my preferred strategy is to try to go somewhere and, and funnel them as I walk backwards and just have everything in front of me and try to shoot them as they follow me. The problem is with this level is, is uh, they end up coming from behind and I can't, I can't keep up. <laughs> so see what I mean? This guy shows up here. Check over there just to see what's going on. Guy comes in the right. And I guess it's because I must be at like a spawn point. So there's probably a better spot to be than here. I'm not really sure. I haven't played this level enough to know all the ins and outs, but. That might be something to think about, guys, when you're playing is think about uh, if you can be a not right in the spawn zone unless you want to be so with me and this robot for example uh, it's not so to wow that guy really hit me hard though guy behind me i think um oh and there's those guys up top can i get them 
I knocked his shield down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got rid of that guy up top. Those guys hit hard, too. They have, like, reapers or something on them. So they're really good at penetrating your, your defense. Like, if you're riding this, if you're riding, if you're using a Seraph or something, they'll, they'll shoot your Seraph right out of the sky. All right, locked again. No, I'm not. I'm not locked. I thought I was. All right, see if we can get these guys behind me. See, how are we doing? We've got 130 kills. Now, see what I mean? The guys start getting tanky here. And they get hard to focus on. It gets hard to pick out a specific target to shoot, which is what is nice about the Tesla weapons. I can just uh, push the fire button down and it hits everybody in that little cone of area. These tanky guys get really annoying after a while because I know I still need like a like basically 30, uh, 33-ish, well now 30 kills. And they're just not dying fast enough. <laughs> Can I get this guy? Ah, uh, targeting switch at the last second there. There we go, finally got that stubborn guy. There we got that guy. We got a mothership, so uh, we're doing okay with our health. We're over 800,000. At least at the moment, we are doing okay. Things seem to sort of change quickly sometimes. Guy with the shield, knock that shield down. Man, guys are tanky. Where are we at? We're at 176. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're running out of time though. We got less than a minute. Less than a minute. And now these guys are really starting to hit me hard. Back up here. Can I get another heal? Can I get another heal? Thank you very much. Even though I don't know if it's going to be enough. Uh, right, nice, nice. Can we get another mothership? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That guy with the... I don't know what those plasma weapons to the left. There we go, mothership. Oh, oh, oh. We, oh okay, we, we cleared it. We cleared the thing. So if they do kill me, it's not the end of the world. 18 seconds left. Heal. Can we make it? Can we make it? Do I have to drop another robot? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, weapons are out. Weapons are out. Reload, reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, three seconds, two seconds. Oh, they died. They killed me. But it's basically over, guys. It doesn't matter. Whew. That is a stressful level. Uh, I found that this level was by far the most difficult. Maybe I could have used the Titan, but I don't know. Anyways, that's that. Uh, I only needed to collect this because in the subs earlier ones, I did manage to collect the, re the rewards because I did get to a certain point I just couldn't get platinum and finally I did um okay guys that's that's all I got for you today and like I said at the start I don't know how helpful this will be I don't really have a lot of uh recommendations on equipment right now I'm using arguably kind of like you know almost the best stuff and it's a struggle for me so I'm going to have to do some more research and maybe watch some other YouTubers and how what they do. So anyways, take it for what it is right now and uh, we'll leave it at that. Be nice to one another out there in the real world and I will catch up with you soon. Bye for now.